Good day folks. Welcome to another episode of the Camel Cowboy Outdoors. I'm back here at the South Wolf Bait doing a check and bringing some more bait in. Still no wolves have been here. I haven't seen wolf tracks on this south line since they killed that deer on the lake and that was over a month ago now but I just come in here to do a check and unfortunately I see you caught another fox. I just had a feeling because when I was coming in on my skidoo track I could see fox tracks on there and he stayed on my track all the way in here and so we got one but it is a nice one guys very nice this is a beauty like I said I would rather not catch them but what a beautiful fox and at least we got a head catch on them so that there's um, no fur damage. You catch them around the flank a lot of times here around the hips, then it ruffles that fur and makes it not quite nice, but this is a beauty of a red. Must have been in a fight at one time, there's a notch out of his ear there. But um, yeah, I'll take them home and do them up and, and um, Guess that'll be another one for tanning. I'm gonna have to start making stuff soon because I've got quite a few of these for tanning, so some might stay as wall hangers, but I would like to get into making a few things, some hats and mitts and stuff. So anyways guys, I'll get it out of here and I see this is the only catch in here today, so so we will carry on. Well, I'm back in here guys, and we caught another fisher. I'm happy about that. This is fisher number 10 for the year. I caught one here earlier this year, and we got ourselves another one. So that's nice. Glad it hasn't been chewed on. Um, I was just looking at my YouTube here earlier, and I guess this video will be my 200th episode. So I'm kind of happy about that. When I first started this, I never ever thought that I'd make 200 videos and put on YouTube, but that's what we're at, number 200. So it's kind of a milestone for me. I um, almost gave up YouTube a few times, and but um, it just keeps getting better and better, so gonna stick with it as long as I can guys anyways let's have a look at this fisher eh, not much bait left in there either oh yeah it's froze I'm gonna have to change this trap out froze solid yeah it's a nice fisher guys probably a female I think the one I caught here earlier was a female as well but, um, yeah, really happy about that. I'm going to change this trap out. And I think I'm going to put some more bait in there. This set here, you can see all the little black specks. There's so many mice coming into this one. When I seen this fisher, I thought, oh, I hope it's not plucked. But it isn't, so that's nice. Nice to see, guys. All right, I'm going to change this trap out, rebait it, and... Be on my way. Well, guys, I'm back up here in the north. Our warm weather has ended. It's minus 16 today. Changed drastically from one day to the next. But I come along here and I see a beautiful sight. That is what I like to see. We caught ourselves a fisher. Second fisher up here now. What a nice head catch. Another good sized fisher. The other day I came here and this trap was snapped and knocked out of the box. I'm not sure 
what had happened, whether it was a squirrel or a weasel or something. But anyways, guys, we got ourselves a nice fisher here. This fish is completely thawed. He must have just got caught here this morning or something because, like I said, it's minus 16. It's pretty cool. And this fisher, this fisher isn't froze at all. That's good. I can get it out of this trap and we'll get it reset. Now that it peed all over there and stuff, that should be good lure for another one. All right, guys, I'm going to get this out of here and get it reset and carry on. Well, my friends, I had a bit of excitement here and a big disappointment. Right there is the first cat I've caught in 25 years. And the first one I've ever caught in a snare 25 years ago, I always just used footholds. So there he is. And another cat ate him. Another cat ate him. And I'm checking these every second day, every other day. So, I'm going to reset this. And I'm going to use part of this cat as bait, I guess. And maybe I can catch that other one. What a letdown. The first one in 25 years. But, like I said, I'm hoping that other one comes back here. I see his tracks all over there. So, um, yeah, we're going to get this fixed up a little bit and reset. And maybe we can catch that other one. Talk to you all later. Well, folks, that's the way it's been. That, um, I'm sure disappointing, you know. Catch my first cat after 25 years. And he gets eaten by another cat. You know, there's always that saying, it's a dog eat dog world. I think it's a cat eat cat world, but it was probably, probably a couple traveling together and one got caught and the other one ate them. And so I reset that snare pen there. I took the foot off that lynx and hung it in there and Smeared a little Linkler on it, and we'll see what happens, but but um, that was a nice thing years ago when I used to catch them, it was always footholds, and they were alive, and normally they didn't get eaten by another cat, in fact, I'd never had it happen with footholds, but it is what it is, folks, so we're not stopping, we're going to keep going, and um, so anyways... I want to thank you all for watching, and the good Lord willing, we'll see you down the trail.